Many of you are well aware of PDF-ID Standard and PDF-ID Professional. PDF-ID has been around for six years and is used by many people to convert PDF to InDesign type. This year, we also released PDF-ID Lite, which is available for only $99 through the Adobe Exchange Store. PDF-ID Lite is built exclusively for InDesign, Creative Cloud, and the Adobe Exchange Panel. What we want to do today is introduce PDF to ID Enterprise, the workflow automation solution that is used to batch convert hundreds of thousands of PDFs into InDesign and IDML formats. PDF to ID Enterprise operates with the desktop version of InDesign and comes with an interface tailored for workflow, workflow automation. So here we have InDesign running with PDF to ID Enterprise installed. PDF to ID Enterprise is a plugin for InDesign and installs a couple of commands in the file menu of InDesign. So if you go to the file menu, you see a couple of commands over here, open PDF file and batch convert PDFs. What we want to do is choose the batch convert PDFs command from the file menu in InDesign. Again, this was added by PDF to ID Enterprise. So I'm just invoke this command. The PDF to ID batch processor window appears at this point. This window allows you to set up your workflow to convert thousands of PDFs. Once your workflow is set, you can let it run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So let's just go over the interface very quickly of the PDF to ID batch processor. The batch processor window has three distinct, distinct areas. The topmost area is the conversion list. The conversion list shows the folders and files that have been added, which you want to which you want converted. So this is where you add files and folders, and the, the name of the files and folders are displayed over here. Towards the bottom, right over here, we have the options area. The options area allows you to specify conversion options, folder options, notification options, and performance options. Finally, towards the right, over here, this is the area we're talking about now, we have the conversion controls. The conversion controls are what you use to add and remove files and folders to convert and start and stop conversions. So what we're going to do in this demo today is add a folder filled with PDFs and set it, set it up as a watch or actually a hot folder and demonstrate how once things are set up, your conversions are automated. What we're going to do first is click Add Target Folder. There's an Add Target Folder button over here, so let's just click this. And we can select any folder and click OK. So we're going to click this folder. It says PDF Files, and we say Choose. And the folder has been added into the conversion list area. What we're going to do now is specify where the converted files should be placed and also set this as a watch folder so that every time a PDF file is added, it's automatically processed. In order to do that, what we do is we first click on the folder options to expose the settings of the folder options. Now, so we have the set destination folder button here. And what we want to do is if we click this button, we can set the destination folder or the folder that all the converted files should be placed in. So we can click this and we'll say select batch output and click choose. Now what we want to do is set this folder up as a watch folder. So what we're going to do is check this over here that says set as watch folder. So we just mark this set as watch folder. Now we're all set. We can simply click either convert all or convert selected and the batch conversion begins. So let's just start the batch conversion by clicking on convert all for the purpose of this demo. Now what's occurring at present is PDF to ID Enterprise is processing through all the PDF files and converting them to the InDesign or actually IDML type. Um, you can see in the progress bar over here the names of the files that are being converted. You can also observe how fast the conversions are. I am running this on a MacBook Pro that is about three years old, and 
we should be done with the conversions shortly. So we should almost be done. And the conversions are finished now. So there you go, conversion is finished. Um, what we want to do is observe the converted output. And we can do this very easily by just clicking in the finder. So let's just click in the finder over here and look at the batch output folder. And you'll notice that yes, the files are converted and they're placed in a nicely structured folder with the IDML type created. And with every page that contains an image, there is a subfolder that's created and the images are placed nicely. These are all structured very well. So it just converted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 files, 12 PD files in a matter of a couple of minutes or probably even less on a three-year-old MacBook Pro, which is very neat. Now what we want to do is observe the, bat, the watch folder in action. So what we're going to do is, in order to do that, we're just going to drag and drop a couple of, or move a couple of PDF files into the original uh, watched folder. So we're going to close this batch output. Uh, and I have a window right over here that's open. And I'm just going to drag these two files into the PDF files folder. So we're just going to drag this. And you'll notice immediately that the batch conversions start occurring. So there we go. The batch conversions are occurring. I haven't done anything. All I did was drag and drop a couple of files into the original folder, which was targeted as a watch folder. And the conversions have taken place. Let's just observe it. Uh, let's go by date modified. And yes, the conversions have taken place as expected. There we go. Everything is in order here. You can set up multiple watch folders and you can even have uh, watch folders mounted from a server disk and PDF.ID Enterprise will take care of everything. You now know how to set up a system to convert thousands of PDFs to IDML or InDesign format using PDF.ID Enterprise. We finally want to introduce a few advanced features in PDF.ID Enterprise. Um, first and foremost are notification options. You can configure PDF-to-ID Enterprise to send email to a specific address as conversions are processed. You can set this up on a per folder basis or you can also specify whether you want email sent after converting every file. So what we do is we click on notification options and the notifications options panel is exposed and we can add any email address so we'll just put info here at oops info at recosoft.com or anything that you really want to add and you can add a message over here that says a b c d conversions or actually conversions are over are over and we can say add recipient details and it's added Right over there. So now, as conversions are processed, um, you know, mail gets sent out. Finally, uh, we also want to introduce you to the performance options of PDF.ID Enterprise. Um, so let's just click on performance options. By default, the conversion type is set to IDML, as depicted up here. Um, IDML is the InDesign markup language type, and everyone knows that the InDesign markup file uh, can be read by anything from InDesign CS4 and above. It's an extremely um, uh, file exchange friendly format, and it's a native InDesign file also. Um, and there are systems that accept the IDML files that can also process IDML files, which is really ideal in a workflow automation situation. Uh, and there's one final option that we want to introduce is the restart conversion server after. PDF-to-ID Enterprise is made of two parts, the user interface that you see, and there's an actual conversion server. The conversion server sits in your own sits in the machine and is a separate piece of software that runs in the background. You never see the uh, 
conversion server operated, sort of launched by the user interface on its own. And uh, it's a background process again. And this background process is responsible for converting all the files. You can specify how often the conversion server should be restarted. Um, by default, it's set to 50, but it's really up to you. As the server keeps on processing PDFs, the performance does degrade, thus we recommend that the server be restarted. Restarting the conversion server is extremely fast and has very little impact on the overall system performance. Well, that's it with you know, PDF ID Enterprise. Um, to sum up, you've now learned how to use PDF ID Enterprise to automate your workflow to convert thousands of PDFs with very little setup. Once this is set up, you just let it process. Um, PDF ID has been engineered and developed by Microsoft. Please visit us at www.recosoft.com. That's www.recosoft.com. And thank you and goodbye.